Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel PG Analytics. In this video, I will talk about one special functions which is Coalesce. So Coalesce is a functions in Oracle that helps to deal with the null values. Now let's see the syntax. So Coalesce, then you would have expression, expression one, comma expression two, up to expression n. You can have n number of expressions. Now, Coalesce functions will return the first not null values. So you have added, let's say five expression. Now, whatever is the not null value, the first not null value in all the expressions that will come in the output. For example, select Coalesce. I'll just add, let's say, null, comma, one, comma, two, comma, again, null. Let's see the output of this query. So it will return the first not null value. So you can see the first expression is null. Second expression is one. So first not null is one. Now, if I consider this also as null, now the output will be two. So first not null value. So it will check expression one. If it is null, it will check expression two. If it is null, it will check expression three. If it is not null, then it will return expression three. If in case, if expression three is also null, then it will continue to check the further expressions. So here the third expression is not null and it will return the output. Now what if all the expression is null. Now consider I don't have any not null value. All the expression is null. Then it will return the null. See the output. All expression is null. It will return the null. Now very important point about the coalesce function is it works on all different data type. So you can get the string number date. But remember whatever expressions you have all the expressions should be same data type. Like, I'll just write another syntax. Now I will extract the string A. Here I have B. And now you can see A, B, it is a string. Two is the number. So when I try to write this calc query, it will throw the error. So all the expressions should be same data type. Now two, I can convert to string. Now it will return A. The first not null and let's see if I just convert to null, it will return B. So among all the expression, whatever is the first expression, which is not null, it will return that. And second point, all the expressions should be same data type. Now let's apply this on one table. So I have select a star from EMP name here. I have first name, middle name, and last name. So here in the data, I can see we have the first name for all the employee. For some employee, we have the middle name and for others, we have the last name. So it is possible some employee con having middle name, some is having middle plus last. So I want to show first name plus whatever is available between middle and last. If middle name is available, it should return the middle name. If middle name is null, then we need to check if the last name is available then it should return the last name. So let's write the query to get it. Select first name will remain as it is. Now between middle and last, I will apply the coalesce functions. So here the syntax will be first expression, which is middle name, comma, last name from EMP name table. So we can see, let me just show you the output first. Now this is the data for first name Piyush. I don't have the middle name, so it will return the last name. You can see in the output last name. For second record current, we have middle and last, it will just return the middle name. And for the third Vivek, we don't have the middle and last. We can see from the college, it will return null. So I hope you like the videos and understood this concept. 